Chapter 14 Person, Time and Conduct in Bali The Social Nature of Thought Human thought is customedly social, social in its origins, social in its functions, social in its forms, social in its applications. At base, thinking is a public activity, is natural, its natural habitat is the house yard, the marketplace and the town square. The implications of this fact for the anthropological analysis of culture. My concern here are enormous, subtle and insufficiently appreciated. I want to draw to draw out some of these implications by means of what might seem, seem at first glance and excessively special, even a somewhat esoteric inquiry, an examination of the cultural apparatus in terms of which the people of Bali define, perceive and react to, that is, think about individual persons. Such an investigation is, however, As special and esoteric only in the descriptive sense. The facts as facts are of, of little immediate interest beyond the confines of ethnography and I shall summarize them as briefly as I can. But when seen but when seen against the background of a general theoretical aim to determine what follows for the analysis of culture for, from the proposition that human thinking is essentia essentially a social activity, the Balinese data take on a, pe take on a peculiar importance. Not only are Balinese ideas in this area unusually well developed, but they are, from a Western perspective, odd enough to bring to light some general relationships between different orders of cultural conceptualization that are hidden from us when we look only at our own all too familiar framework for identification, classification and handling of human, quasi-human individuals. In particular, they, they point up some obvious connections. Obvious connections between the way in which a people perceive themselves or others, the way in which they per experience time and the affective tone of their collective life. Connections that have an, imp that an importance just for the understanding of Balinese society, but human society gen generally. The study of culture. A great deal of recent social scientific theorizing has turned upon an attempt to dis distinguish and specify two major analytical concepts, culture and social structure. The impetus for this effort has sprung from a desire to take account of ideational, ideational factors in social processes without succumbing to either the Hegelian or the Marxist forms of reductionism. In order to avoid having to, to regard ideas, concepts, values and experience, an expressive form forms either as shadows cast by the organization of society upon the hard surfaces, 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 surfaces of history or as, or as the f soul of history whose progress is but a working out of their internal dialectic. It has proved necessary to regard them as independent but not self-sufficient 
forces as acting and having their impact only within specific social contexts to which they adapt, by which they are stimulated, but upon which they have, to a greater or lesser degree, a determining influence. Do you really expect, Mark Block wrote in his little book, The Historian Craft, The Historian, Historian's Craft, to know the great merchants, uh, merchants of Renaissance Europe, vendors of cloth or spices, monopolies in copper, mercury and alum, bankers of kings and the emperor by knowing their merchandise alone. Bear in mind that they, that they were painted by Holbein, that they read Erasmus and Luther, Luther to understand the attitude of the med medieval va vassal to his seigneur you must inform yourself about his attitude to his god as well both the organization of social activity its institutional forms and the system of ideas which an animate, animate it must be understood as must the nature of the relations obtaining between them. It is to this end that the attempt of to clarify the concepts of social structure and of, and of culture has been direct, directed. There is, uh, there is little doubt, however, that within this two season development, it has been the cultural side which has proved the more refractory and remains the more retarded in the very nature of the case. Ideas are more difficult to handle scientifically than economic, political and social relations among individuals and groups which those ideas inform. And this is all the more true when the ideas involved are not the explicit doctrines of, Lut of a Luther or an Erasmus, or the articulate images of a uh, Holbein, but the half format taken for granted in differently systemat 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 systematized, systematized notions that guide the normal activities of ordinary men in everyday life. If the scientific study of culture has lagged, boogied down most often in mere dis descriptivism, it has been a large part because its very, its very subject matter is elusive. The initial problem of any science defining its object of study is in such a manner as to render it, render it susceptible of analysis has here turned out to be unusually hard to solve. It is at this point that the conception of thinking as, as basically a social act taking place in the same public world in which other social, other social acts occur can play its most constructive role. The view that thought does not consist of mysterious processes located in what Gilbert Ryle has called a secret grotto in, in, in the head but of a traffic in significant symbols. Objects in experience, rituals and tools, graving idols and water holes, gestures, markings, images and sounds upon which men have impressed meaning makes, a, makes of the study of culture a positive science like, a, like any other. The meanings that symbols the material vehicles of thought embody are often elusive, vague, fluctuating and convoluted, but they are in, pr in principle as capable of being discovered through systematic empirical investigations, investigations especially if the people who perceive them will cooperate a little as the atomic weight 
of hydrogen or the function of the adrenal adrenal glands it is it is through culture patterns of or ordered clusters of significant symbols that man makes sense of the events through which he lives he lives he lives the study of culture the accumulated totally of such patterns in thus the study of the ma machinery individuals and groups of individuals employed to orient themselves in a world otherwise opaque in any particular society the number of generally accepted and frequently used culture patterns in ex is extremely large so that sorting out even the most important ones and tracing whatever relationship they might have to one another is a staggering analytical task the task is somewhat lightened however by the fact that certain sorts of patterns and certain sorts of relationships among patterns recur from society to society for the simple reason that the orientational requirements they serve are generically human the problems being existential are universal their solutions being human are diverse it is however through the circumstantial understanding of these unique solutions and in my opinion only in that way that the nature of the underlying problems to which they are comparable response can be truly comprehend comprehended here as in so many branches of knowledge the road to the grand abstractions of science winds science winds through a ticket of singular facts one of these pervis pervasive orientational necessities is surely the characterization of individual human beings peoples everywhere have developed sim symbolic structures in terms of which persons are perceived not boldly as such as mere unar unadorned members of the human race but as representatives of certain distinct distinct categories of persons specific sorts of individuals any in any given case there are inevitably a, plur a plurality of such structures some for example kindship terminologies are egocentric are egocentric that is they define the status of an individual in terms of his relationship to a his specific social actor others are centered on one or another subsystem or aspect of society and are invariant with respect to the perspective of individual actors perspectives of individual actors noble ranks age age groups age group statuses occupational categories some personal names of and sobriquets are informal and particu particularizing others bureaucratic titles and case designations are formal and st standard standardizing the everyday world in which the members of any community move they're taking for granted field of social action is populated not by anybody not by anybody's faceless faceless man without qualities but by somebody's concrete classes of deter determinate persons positively characterized and approxi appropriately la labeled on the symbol system which defines these classes are not given in the nature of things they are historically constructed socially maintained and individually applied even our reduction of the task of cultural analysis to a concern only with 
only with those patterns having some having sometimes having something to do with the characterization of individual person person renders renders it only slightly less formidable however this is because there there's there's does not yet exist a perfect theoretical framework within which to carry it out what is called a structural analysis in sociology and social anthropology can ferret out, ferret out the functional implications for a society of a particular system of persons categories and at times and at times even predict how much a system might change in change in order to impact of certain social processes but only if the system the categories their meanings and their, their logical relationships can be taken as already known. Personal, personality theory in social psychology can uncover the motivational dynamics underlying the, motiv the formation and the use of such systems and can assess their effects, the effect upon the character structures in, of individuals' actuali actuality, employing them, but also only if, in a, in a sense, they are already given if how the individuals in question seem themselves and others has has been somehow determin determined what is needed is some is some systematic rather than merely literary or impressionistic way to discover what is what is given what the conceptual structure embodied in the symbolic forms through through which pers through which persons are perceived actually is what we want and not what we want and do not yet have is a developed method of describing and analyzing the main full structure of experience here the experience of persons as it is a apprehended by representative members of a particular society at a particular point in time in a world a scientific phenomenology of, of culture predecessors contemporaries cons cons consociates, consociates and su successors There have been, however, a few scattered and rather abstract ventures in cultural analysis thus conceived, from the results of which it is possible to draw some useful leads into our more focused inquiry. Among the more interesting of social forays are, are those which were carried out by the late philosopher cum sociologist Alfred Schutz, whose work represents whose work represents a somewhat er heroic yet not you in unsu in unsuccessful attempt to fuse influences stemming from Scheller, Weber and Husserl on on the one side with ones stemming from James Mead the and Dewey on the other should cover a multi a multitude of topics almost none of them in terms of any extended or systematic considerations of specific social processes, seeking always to uncover the meaningful structure of what he regarded as the paramount reality in human experience. The world of daily life as men confronted, act in it and live through it. For our own purposes, one of his ex exercises is speculative social phenomenology, the disintegration of the blanket notion of fellow men into predecessors, contemporaries, consociates and successors, provides an especially valuable starting point. Viewing the cluster of culture patterns Balinese used to characterize individuals in terms of this break, this breakdown brings brings out in a most su suggestive way the relationships between conceptions of personal identity, 
conceptions of temporal order and conceptions of behavioral style which, as we shall see, are implicit in them. <risa> Murci. No vamos Murci, no vamos.